Good, good afternoon, dear colleagues. I'm happy to make presentation and to report about the results of nutritive support to our patients in St. Petersburg. Some introduction. During anti-tumor treatment, for example, medication therapy, radiotherapy, surgery, more than 10% of patients have a reduction of body mass index by 10% and more. In 2010, there was an article in Cancer Journal where they studied quality of life and the factors influencing the quality of life of oncological patients. Neither localization nor stage of the disease uh, contribute to the quality of life, but this is nutritive uh, insufficiency and weight loss. Uh, this is uh, quite a big contribution into the quality of life. If you talk about incidence rate of uh, nutritive insufficiency among oncological patients, um, neck and uh, head tumors rank first, then uh, esophageal um, around uh, 100 percent, and uh, gastric cancer 87 percent, pancreatic cancer 83, and uh, uh, colon cancer. So we have to pay more attention to potential candidates and to the program for nutritive support is essential. Russia had studies devoted to the influence of nutritive uh, uh, support and enteral nutrition and the impact on rehabilitation. The article was in Oncosurgery Journal in 2010 where they studied the impacts of different medications on post-operative complications. So patients were given uh, medications, and it was concluded that uh, in 2010 versus 25, when there was no nutritive support, uh, so the rate of complications reduced threefold. They also evaluated preoperative use of enteral nutrition patients of brain and neck tumors. Seven centers were involved Moscow, St. Petersburg, Samara, Saratov, Irkutsk. They used medications two weeks before surgery, and the authors concluded that, uh, by the way, it was FortiCare nutrition companies of uh, enteral uh, feeding re uh, results in improvement uh, of the condition, uh, so increase of physical activity, re uh, and uh, in order to restore uh, the indicators and to improve rehabilitation, it was decided to continue uh, using medications at home after discharge from hospital due to the efforts of our head doctor and his work with uh, the Legislative Assembly of St. Petersburg. They managed to include into the program for the development of the uh, city. They managed to include the article about free, on free balanced mixtures for patients with brain and neck uh, tumors. This program works since September 2015. It is implemented in Stoma Center of Oncological Dispensary. Enteral nutrition was provided to more than 2,000 patients. In 2018, the program was extended, and 
they involved patients with, with esophageal and gastric tumors as well. Nutrition is uh, provided for free out of the budget of the city. 703 patients were given uh, this nutritive support uh, within a year. Medications received by patients uh, mainly sipping uh, medications. Forticare, which was specially designed for oncological patients, it's a balanced mixture for our patient and uh, just preferable to use it at mucositis, diarrhea, and constipation. And uh, the second medication has higher content of protein. We use it in weak patients, uh, patients with edemas. We also have notrizone diazon medication that may exist to patients with gastrostoma, with gastric tube. On the outpatient level, in order to understand whether the patient needs nutritive support or not, they use SCORE recommended by ESMA in 2008. You have to ask three simple questions to the patients to make a conclusion whether patient needs additional nutrition. First, whether a spontaneous uh, reduction of body mass and to what extent is the reduction of the volume of uh, nutrition and reduction of weight. If there are two points or more, patient is sent to stoma center where he would come with bi uh, biochemical and clinical blood tests, and he goes to the center. They register his uh, uh, height, and uh, they calculate BMI and uh, degree of nutritive insufficiency. We see the distribution mild, moderate, and severe, depending on concentration of different proteins, lymphocytes, and uh, chemical panel, and body mass index. We have patients' database. Each of them is registered in the computer, basing on biochemical and anthropometric tests. We calculate energy demand, his patient's uh, energy consumption, and the amount of additional uh, nutrition statistics. Now we have 833 patients registered. They receive nutrition as to age. They are mainly from 50 to 70 years old. During 2015-17, when we involved solely patients with head and neck tumors, the majority of them who received nutrition were patients with larynx tumor, 37 percent, then tumor of the tongue and tumor of oral cavity. And when we included patients with gastric and esophageal uh, cancer, uh, so we see the distribution um, in the total uh, breakdown of diseases. Uh, uh, you see the percentage rate for each type of cancer, depending on localization. Patients two, three weeks after enteral nutrition, fill out special questionnaire where they says the amount of uh, consumed food, what sort of food they can have, liquid or solid, and uh, there was randomization. 54 patients, three weeks afterwards, we see that before parental uh, nutrition, 10% could eat any type of food after parental nutrition. The situation changes for the better. So 21% so, uh, so of patients can eat any kind of food. 
If you look at lower table, 80% before enteral nutrition, consider that total volume of the ratio uh, decreased. They eat little after enteral nutrition, there, there are only 68% left. Here we see that we make we can make randomization in the computer. Thirty-two patients had conservative treatment, chemotherapy, or radiotherapy, or chemo radiotherapy. We see patients, their names, and change of the dynamics of the lymphocytes, albumin, total uh, protein, and BMI, which is going up. And the number of patients with complications go down after enteral nutrition, after conservative treatment. So we've taken a group of patients who went through Radiotherapy last year, there were 44 patients. You see the change from visit to visit. We see dynamics of total protein. And we looked at patients who had uh, chemo, uh, therapeutic treatment, and dynamics from visit to visit is positive. We assessed tastes, preferences of patients, what sort of mixes they chose. During the first visit, patients were given several mixes. And it was their wish. And at the next visit, they chose the mix that uh, was preferable to that patient. So Fortique with the flavor of peach uh, the, uh, was here. Uh, so Indian drink, peach and mango, fourth cappuccino coffee. And uh, these are new products, which are quite uh, not a drink compact protein. Fruit and berry will have its uh, niche because patients with uh, uh, epithelitis uh, react very well to it and choose it. Here you see dynamics of physical activity at, during enteral nutrition. This scale uh, is somehow similar to a cock. On top, there are more active patients who have normal way of life. With each line, the activity goes down. And last, there are patients who are bedridden. You see that before, uh, nutrition, 30, uh, well, patients are practically sitting or lying. After parental nutrition, they uh, respond differently. They shift to the upper part of the table. The physical activity improves. They feel full of energy, and they have better quality of life. Stoma Center has a manual for patients. Manual for enteral nutrition patient receives recommendations for medical nutrition and uh, regular nutrition, how food should look like so there should be balanced ratio, balanced um, nutrition. In their manuals for trachea, stomach care, voice, uh, prosthetics. Uh, and care for uh, for gastro patients uh, with gastrostoma. To receive enteral nutrition, patients must submit the following documents. Has to be registered in Saint Petersburg. Telephone is given. Uh, so insurance policy. Uh, then pension uh, code. Uh, 
the recommendation of the doctor and uh, by uh, chemical analysis um, and uh, clinical um, blood count. When the program just started, there were few patients we had to call and uh, well, promote this program. Now there are a lot of patients and they sent a lot of them. So lack of awareness of oncologists and uh, patients uh, well, are things to be considered. Very often we have to deny patients mm, on um, nutrition support. Of course, absence of the decrease of Ministry of Healthcare, absence of criteria of completion of nutritive support for palliative patients uh, are also essential factors. So, conclusions. Nutritive uh, outpatient support for oncological patients has to be recommended in preoperative period for patients on chemotherapy or radiotherapy when there is anorexia, nausea, uh, myocarditis, and uh, when there is reduction of efficacy, or for some patients with incurable diseases that who can die from uh, but uh, from hunger thank you